in the first conversation on Wednesday when free agency started or the tampering period started, whenever they could officially talk to him, Tom Brady was selling himself to Tampa Bay. Tom Brady, the greatest quarterback of all time, called Tampa Bay and said, this is why you should take me. I'm a winner. I'm a game manager. I have six Super Bowls, and my name's Tom Brady. That's probably all he had to say to those guys for Bruce Arians and Mr. Light there to be like, yeah, we can really get Tom Brady. Tom Brady's selling himself to us. Yeah, let's just sit back. Let's mute our phones here. If he's going to sell himself to us, we're fine with that. We thought we were going to have to pitch him. Turns out Tom Brady's pitching himself to us. That is a wild turn of events. What did the Patriots say to this guy <laughs> to make him think that nobody else wanted it? This is an insane thought. And now, I mean, if you start looking around, the Niners chose Jimmy G over Tom Brady is what everybody said. The Tennessee Titans obviously chose Tannehill over Tom Brady. The Colts, it has come out, chose Phillip Rivers over Tom Brady. Tom Brady then has to call the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and say, hey, I think that I am worth something. I think you would probably want me in the building. And Bruce Arians, who's been around football a long time and has won a lot of football games like it, no, sh yeah. <laughs> hey, we agree, pal. Come on in. They said they now Tom Brady isn't the most mobile giraffe out there. We all understand that, but the guy can move a little bit. They said that wasn't even something they were interested in looking at. They said his arm was perfect for the Bruce Arian system. And you got to remember, there's some stat that came out from some stats people, whether it was the uh, Amazon stat people, the pro football focus stat people, the, the other nerd, whatever nerds gave us the stats. There was a stat that said for passes 20 plus yards down the field into a tight window, the top two QBRs who were actually tied for first were Tom Brady and Jameis Winston for completing tight coverage passes 20 yards down the field or more. So that narrative that Tom Brady didn't have a good, I think it might've came from Hembo actually on ESPN's get up on that same show. That narrative that Tom Brady couldn't throw the ball down the field anymore was debunked by that one stat, which by the way, some stats are interesting. Some stats are just being painted to fit a narrative. But in that narrative that we're trying to talk about Tom Brady's arm not being great, that one stat right there says, well, that's probably not accurate. I think Tom Brady is going to be on just like Cam Newton, by the way. These are two MVPs who have been kind of told to get the hell out, basically. Ah! So sorry to interrupt. If you're a man watching this, you deserve to have long, great and you can do that now with our friends at Roman. Right now, you go to GetRoman.com, you get $10 off and free two-day shipping on Roman Swipes, which are guaranteed to make you have longer, more fulfilling every time you get in the sack. Now, let's get back to the fornicate in action. Tom Brady was told it by four teams. Cam Newton was told it by at least one team in the Carolina Panthers who are paying the same exact contract for another quarterback who hasn't started for years. Hasn't started for years. I mean, last year he did in replacement of Drew Brees, but being a starting quarterback, I think those two guys are primed for a great year next year. And the fact that old light had to come out and say like, yeah, man, he was actually selling us on getting him down there. So what was that conversation with uh, Jeter and Gates and the Tampa Bay Lightning owner then? Was that him big being like, if I was to come here, what would we do? Mm -hmm. And Bill Gates like, we'll build Tom Town. He's like, all right, I got to convince <laughs> the Buccaneers now. Let me figure out if I can make that happen. That's insane to me. I think he's going to do a great job. And I bet you Bruce Arians and all them are pumped to have him. And I assume after these two years, Tom Brady's confidence is going to be at a different level than it is coming out of this relationship with the Patriots. Yeah, it's wild that we live in a, in a world right now where Tom Brady, his confidence is so low that he had to sell himself to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers that's wild and, and then a 30 year old Cam Newton also is trying to sell himself on Instagram just to get a starting job in the NFL this is a wild time to be alive right now in the NFL quarterback positions are not in the plenty Jameis Winston's slinging buckets on the weekend with his dog at his feet all weekend Jameis Winston's working out Dan Orlovsky said on get up this morning that Cam Newton's gonna be a backup quarterback next year I don't see it I don't see it because Cam Newton's already been paid. Cam Newton's a different guy. I don't know if you're going to get Cam Newton as a backup quarterback. I think Jameis Winston's going to be a backup quarterback somewhere, though, and I think his camp is kind of mm -hmm. realizing that potentially. But I'll tell you what, Jameis Winston got that LASIK surgery, threw for over 5,000 yards last year, and his turnover-worthy plays match that of Carson Palmer and Andrew Luck in Bruce Arians' first year of offense. I think Jameis Winston has got to look to potentially Tannehill next year where everybody thought he stunk at football, just like everybody thought of Tannehill at the Dolphins. Everybody thought his career was over, just like people are thinking here with Jameis Winston because it's been quarterback um, 
not hot potato, but uh, carousel. No, what's that game where you they play a song and you have musical to, chairs? Musical chairs. It's been quarterback musical chairs, and he's kind of been left out. Look for him to potentially Tannehill next year if he gets a chance to get a starting spot. He can see something for the first time. He got LASIK surgery. Maybe he'll be able to see his own team instead of the other, so he doesn't go into thirty thirty club again. But Jameis Winston looks like he's going to be a backup in my eyes. I don't see how Cam Newton's a backup. I, I just don't see how that mentality, that attitude, that personality, that talent level is going to choose to sit behind somebody that he probably knows he's better than.